welcome back to another video and today we're probably going to go over one of my favorite seasons and this would be Fortnite season three season three pretty much brought in so much more into the game um the hype had already built up over season one and season two and we're getting more and more players coming into it and the battle pass just seemed so much more exciting at the time so let's get into it and have a look at the skins quickly uh we'll scroll over and go to okay so currently i'm using crimson scout a dashing and deadly scout for season three midnight ops part of season three tomato head now this actually particular one when he first came out he actually had his original style so he didn't actually have the uh tomato head king until later on but um the actual original character was still pretty cool to use rust lord part of the Storm Scavenger set. Burnout. Elite Agent. Uh, also had selectable styles, but I'm pretty sure we didn't get these select selectable styles until later. Uh, Mission Specialist. Not many people like this particular skin. I actually don't think he's too bad. Um, he also has alternate styles, of course. The original one was the one with the visor up. Um, of course, they released different variants later on uh, I think in season 8 or season 9 I think we got the uh, the alternate variants for him same as with uh, Moonwalker the female variant she obviously has Pfizer up Pfizer down and Helmer off Rabbit Raider one of my favorites even though it's a quirky looking skin um, not many people like it I actually think he's pretty cool uh, not a bad uh, concept for Jonesy at all. Rogue Agent. It's agent status unknown, part of the Black Vector set. It's pretty cool. Bunny Brawler. So, opposite to the male counterpart. Bright Gunner. Sunshines and Rainbow set. War Paint. Now, these, even though these were um, from PvE, so player versus environment, from um, playing Fortnite. Uh, wow completely gone off it there um the actual originals that they actually came out this didn't come out until i think around about season nine season ten that it was actually gifted to us um these are obviously um a founder's edition set that was purchased for for purchasing um the pve of fortnite not player versus player not battle royale so it's a nice nice set given to us there's actually two of them in total um the reaper so this was the tier 100 skin I'm pretty sure they actually had tier 100 at the time and I actually had a friend that completely bought out the entire battle pass um, literally as it came out just to buy this skin to say he was the first one in the game to have it so it was pretty cool at the time um, not many people grinded it out to get season 3 to get the Reaper but um, I still think he's really really cool original John Wick character Rose team leader I'm pretty sure this is the other um, yeah, it's part of the other set, which was the War Paint set. I'm pretty sure that's the other other one that came out. Rex. Battlehound. Dark Vanguard. Dark Voyager. Leviathan. Another expensive uh, outfit to get, especially with um, his glider. was actually quite expensive to buy. Power Cord. And Raven. So many people bought Raven. It wasn't funny. He's a very cool character to use. So that's all Season 3 characters that came out either in the Battle Pass um, or through the item shop, of course. Um, I probably might have missed a couple, but I'm pretty sure I bought probably about 85% of all the skins that came out in Season 3. So we'll exit out of that and go into back blings because Season 3 not only brought new characters, but also uh, new back blings. So we'll scroll across. We have Precision, Special Delivery, Rust Bucket, Hard Boiled, obviously male and female, so you've got different variants of it. Catalyst, Skirmish, Alpine Accessories, so they were added to the Alpine sets. So Canada, USA, etc. Astro, Bright Bag, Six String, Scaly, 
Royal Flags for the Wukong set, which was uh, added, I think, around about Season 4, Season 5, I think it was. I'm not 100% sure. Even though it does say Season 3, but I know they added it to Wukong after they released Wukong. Uh, Red Shield. Raptor Satchel. Pursuit. Cuddle Bow with the Cuddle Team Leader. Dark Matter. Dark Void. Fish Tank. Iron Cage. And Love Wings for the Love Ranger. Go into pickaxes using tactical spade. So of course the default pickaxe as usual. Um, okay, we'll scroll across. There we go. I was wondering why I was a bit confused for a second there. So we've got tactical spade, spectre, spectral axe, silver fang, anarchy axe, axe, axeria, axeroni, sorry, carrot stick, cutting edge, empire axe. Sawtooth, Frosty number two, which is a part of the John Wick set, Rainbow Smash, Pot of Gold, Global Axe, Eva, or EVA, and Bite Mark. So we'll exit out of that and go into Gliders. So Parasol, of course, was the uh, Season 3 um, Glider for winning a match, which is really, really cool. So we go to Mainframe. Carbon, Rainbow Rider, Royal Dragon, which this thing is absolutely huge when you fly it, Deep Space Lander, High Octane, part of the John Wick set, Orbital Shuttle, Planetary Probe, and Feather Flyer, which is really, really cool. So from there we go on to um, Contrails. So of course Season 3 was the first to release uh, Contrails into the game. So we scroll across to Flags. So there we go. We've got Season 3. We have All-Star, Bubbles, Flames, which a lot of people use that with the John Wick character, Rainbow, and Ultramarine. Looks really, really cool. So we go down to Emotes. And scroll across. We'll go down. Was WoW. These were released inside the Battle Pass and also through the store. Rock, Paper, Scissors. Rocket Ride. Salute. Thief. Thumbs Down. Thumbs up, positivity, majestic, kaboom, jubilation, in love, hot dog, click, face palm, flaming rage, GG, heartbroken, hoarder. Bush, brush your shoulders, breaking point, boombox, or A plus, take the L, so many people use this uh, emote, it's so funny through the entire season, and they still do it now, tidy, snoop diggity dog, Wiggle. Wiggle your hips, baby. Number one. One HP. 200 IQ. Step it up. Make it rain. Hoot Nanny. Flippin' sexy. Confused. Best mates. Breaking. D. 
Disco Fever. Reanimated. Rock out. Rocket Radio. And my personal favorite, I like the robot. Okay, we'll exit out of the emotes. Unfortunately, the wraps weren't actually in season three, so we'll skip over that and go straight to the music, I think it is. Uh, actually, no, because there were more banners and there were the OG music, but I honestly can't remember what they are. But what I will show you quickly is the loading screens. Now, these loading screens is what we had actually seen up until season three. So we scroll across, and these were actually given to us in season three, but these were the loading screens throughout season one and season two. So this is what we actually had seen on the screen, like that in full screen as we were loading into the matches. Which is really cool. So, tactical shotgun, suppressed pistol, battle royale, bright unicorn, elite agent, harvesting tools, which if you actually have a look, you can see Raiders Revenge on there as well, which is really cool from season one. So these are all the pickaxes that were basically mainly used throughout season one, season two, and then obviously into season three. Minigun and Raptor, which is really cool. Awesome concept art picture for that one. Guys, that's it for my Season 3 showcase of what I have on my locker at the moment as a review. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys hopefully in the next video for Season 4. And uh, thank you guys again. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.